welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna film for you guys a haul. I went to uh, the United States with my friend just over the weekend and we went to uh, Hobby Lobby as well as Target. So I think I didn't buy enough, I think, to make two separate hauls. So I think I'm gonna combine these into one haul for uh, Hobby Lobby and Target, like I said. So yeah, let's just hop right in. So I'll start with the stuff from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I went specifically to look sort of for um, greenery and stuff like that. So the first thing I found was this floral accent pick and it was $3.99. This is how it looks. Uh, it's I think it's really pretty, kind of realistic looking. Anyway, just like succulents type thing. And I liked it because it could probably be used for any season, any time. So that's why I picked this one up there. Next, I found these two floral picks. Unfortunately, they weren't on sale. I was really hoping they'd be 50% off, but they weren't. So I paid full price for that. I also paid full price for these. Um, these little yellow flowers, so same sort of style, but uh, yellow and much smaller. And it's super tall, although I likely won't um, use them that tall, I'll probably cut them down. But anyway, I got that one there, and then I also got one in uh, green, so same thing, but green. So that is that. Then their metal items were 50% uh, off, so I picked up this little metal tin here. I like the sort of stamp detail there and uh, just like the way that looks. So it was originally $5.99, which I think is kind of expensive <laughs> for just a tin, but anyway, it was 50% off, so I paid $3 for that, and I think that was pretty good. So got that one there, and then I got this basket here. It was uh, $5, but also since it was metal, uh, their metal decor, it was $2.50. So I like this piece because also it can be used any time of year, and uh, yeah, just really like that, so I picked it up. Then their knobs, I loved their knob section. Basically, I'd only been in Hobby Lobby once in my life before, and it was basically an in and out type thing, so I didn't really get to see the store. So this was, I guess, my first time there going through the whole store and it was really really nice i liked it and uh, their knob section was just like heaven so i uh, needed little knobs for a dresser beside miriam's bed so i found these little knobs here they're quite tiny and they're just glass and like a pinky color and they were uh, $3.99 a piece but they were 50 percent off so i ended up paying two dollars a piece and um, I got six of them. Can't wait to put that on her little dresser beside her bed, and I think they're just gonna look super precious. And the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby is this big frame here, and uh, it says Choose Joy on it. I really love that, and I have a perfect spot for it in my house. I also love the sort of watercolor greenery on there, so um, it's pretty decent size and uh, I think it's gonna look great in my house. Uh, stay tuned for where I'll put that. I will likely share it on Instagram when I do uh, put that up, so stay tuned for that. And now I will hop into the stuff that I got from Target. So I didn't buy a ton of stuff, but I did need a couple things, and then I just wanted a couple things, so I bought it. Uh, the first thing I got was from the uh, Hearth and Hand, is that what it's called? Yeah, Hearth and Hand line. Um, and it's this mug here. I really love that sort of bluey green color there and uh, just the terracotta bottom there. So I really like that. I thought it was very pretty and it was uh, $3.99. Then I got another sort of thing to drink out of and it is a uh, to-go coffee mug. So I've been looking for one of these and uh, I found this one here. It's like a blue tin, it's stainless steel, but it looks like enamel wear. So I really like that. It's got cork on the handle here, and then the top just sort of flips open and closed here. So I've used this already and it holds my coffee hot. And I think I kept, oh yeah, here it is. I kept this to show you guys what it is. It's the Elo brand and it just says, not your grandpa's camp cup and uh, stainless steel travel mug. So I think this wasn't cheap. I feel like it was maybe $12.99 or $15.99, I can't remember, but I really liked the look of it. It was kind of unique and I thought it was very me. So um, I bought that and it's basically, hopefully, if I don't lose it, gonna last me a really long time. So that is that. Next I got one thing of makeup. It is the lip gloss that I'm wearing right now, actually. It is this right here. Uh, because it was on major uh, discount. Basically, I feel like maybe discontinued. So this actually only cost me $2. The color is uh, Hint of Berry, and uh, I like it. It's just sort of 
you know, a basic kind of neutral, but a little bit of hint of pink and uh, feels really nice on my lips. So I got that for $2. Then I got a dish towel, which was also on clearance. It was $1.75 on clearance. And it's just this black and white and uh, beige one here. And uh, it's got pears on it, I think. Yeah, anyway, I really like that for the kitchen. And it's nice and thick, so it will really dry your hands when you want to dry your hands in the kitchen. So I picked that one up there and uh, I was happy that it was on clearance. Next, I got a couple new bowls and plates for the kids. The stuff we have now is kind of seen better days, so I got some new stuff. I got these bowls here that I thought the kids could use for cereal bowls, and uh, like they're plastic, and they were, I feel like $1.99 each, maybe, or maybe $2.49, but anyway, a good price nonetheless, I think. And um, I just really like the design. Uh, how they sort of coordinate in color but don't match exactly and then I just got these ones here they had a whole bunch of different colors but they were 79 cents a piece so I got two plates and then I got uh, two bowls and also on clearance I got this little hair clip for Miriam I thought this was too precious and it was down to uh, 98 cents so it was originally a dollar 99 so I guess it was 50% off so I really like that there and she really liked it too I've showed it to her already and she likes it and I got Jude a t-shirt it is this Mickey t-shirt here and uh, I just thought it was super cute he's really gonna like it it's sort of like a peach color and uh, I thought that would be great for the summertime and then I got this shirt for Miriam, it was on clearance. It's size 4.5, so it might not fit her until next year. Uh, but it is this sweatshirt here with the horses on it, and I just thought this was adorable. And uh, I think she's really gonna like it too. So it wasn't like a huge steal or anything, but um, it was originally $17.99, and I got it for $8.98. So obviously not thrift store prices, but I just thought it was so adorable and too cute to pass up. Then lastly, on this trip with my friend, I got one more piece of home decor, even though it is not from Hobby Lobby or Target. I thought I'd share it in this haul anyway. I got it at uh, HomeSense, and it is this frame here, which I really, really liked. I thought this was really pretty, and so I'm excited to use that. I think alongside that Choose Joy frame, just because the colors sort of coordinate, and I thought this would look nice together. So um, maybe with like a family photo in it or something like that, I'm not sure. But anyway, I picked that up at HomeSense and I'm really happy that I did. So there you have it. That was my Target, Hobby Lobby and HomeSense haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing so you don't miss a video in the future. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.